Right now, this was a scene in Windsor this morning. The Queen, of course, marking her 95th birthday. Events, understandably, of course, have been muted with the Queen expected to spend the day with visits from family and then she'll go out and walk her dogs. Well, author Giles Brandreth was friends with Prince Philip for over 40 years. There they are, they go way back. And he's sharing his memories in a new book, Philip, the Final Portrait. Um, Giles, it's great to see you. Great Good to see, see you. you. First birthday, of course, without our husband by our side. And we've all been thinking about the Queen, especially those images that we saw when she was all alone. And a lot of people have said how sad that is, that her sitting... They felt it was very sad, and some of the newspaper headlines said it was cruel to have her there on her own because of the COVID restrictions. But in fact, of course, the Queen is driven by duty and sustained by faith. Mm. And so she would have wanted to obey the rules strictly because she leads from the front. Yes. What everybody else has suffered this year, it would be right that she would be doing the same. Mm. But also, her faith is absolutely important to her. So though she was sitting on her own at the end of that pew, it's in her own chapel that she knows so well, and she really does believe. So in the house of God, she doesn't feel she is alone. It's a place you'd want to be. Do you, you remember controversially on the day that Diana died, William and Harry were up at Balmoral, yeah. staying with the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. And there was lots of comment that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh took the boys to church that morning. I remember, yeah. And people said, oh, what a thing to do. But in fact, the boys wanted to go. And of course, for the Queen, the church is a place to be at a time of trial and tribulation. So it's where she would have wanted to be. So she wasn't alone. Yeah. She has her faith, she had her God, she had her husband there. Of course, a heartbreaking day, and when her head was bowed, it was unbearably sad for, for all of us, because she's been there all our lives. He has been there all our lives, so it's the end of an era. And if we regard the Queen's reign as a success, the joint author of that success was the Duke of Edinburgh. Very much so, and you find out about that in the book. I mean, this is a real warts and all. You know, you, you, I mean, it's, and, and he, actually, he actually had a fantastic sense of humour. I know everybody sort of concentrates on the gaffes, mm. but this was just a tiny part of what, what he was like. I mean, if he didn't like you, you were in trouble. He could, but if he liked you, you were, you were all right. He could be quite frightening. The, the book came about because I got to know him through a charity, the National Playing Fields Association. Yeah. I'm wearing... The tie as the vice president. He was the president and the queen was the patron. And that's how I got to know him. But when I, in the 1990s, uh, wanted to become an MP, he looked at me aghast as if, can you imagine anything so stupid? And he said, well, have you been to Westminster? Do you anything about it? I said, well, I haven't been. To, haven't been, I haven't even been to the Houses of Parliament. You can't believe it. Anyway, the next day, he invited me to go to the state opening of Parliament. Oh as his guest, Crazy. as the guest of him and the Queen. Oh. So my wife and I went and sat on spindly gold chairs, just sort of adjacent to the, uh, um, it was amazing. When I lost my seat, he wasn't surprised, <laughs> but he called up to say, can I help, anything I can do? You know, really? bad luck. And I said, well, sir, he said, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get back into journalism. And he said, what, well, what's that gonna do with me? I said, well, you could give me an interview. And he hated giving interviews, but very reluctantly he agreed. And it went quite well. And as a result of it, for his 80th birthday, he said he needed a biography to be written would I write it? Mm. So I had this fascinating but terrifying experience of going in and talking to him about his life. And he really didn't want to concede anything. He wouldn't, he had this very strange childhood, for example, born in Greece, but brought up in Paris with his parents who split up by the time he was 10. And his mother had a breakdown, ended up in an asylum, didn't see her son for several years, no Christmas card, no birthday mm -hmm. card. And his father floated down to the south of France where he ended up living uh, with a girlfriend on a boat. And Prince Philip said to me, what are you saying here about my father floating down to the south of France? <laughs> floating. I said, well, sir, I was trying to convey that your father was something of a boulevardier, enjoyed a glass of wine, a well-turned ankle. And I thought the phrase floated down to the south of France conveyed it rather well. He said, my father did not float down to the south of France. My father went by train. Oh, right. He wanted so things to be Accurate. Absolutely. Okay. Like I when I put that he'd served on HMS Ramillies during the Second World War, he was a war hero, mentioned in dispatches. He said, I didn't serve on HMS Ramillies. I said, you did, sir. You gave me the log books. I know you served on H... I did not serve on HMS Ramillies. I served in HMS Ramillies. Oh. You don't live on your house, do you? You live in your house. Right. And you have to get it right or don't else. Don't you know anything? <laughs> So I it, love how you go into Prince Philip. It, it <laughs> the could, spirit of him. <laughs> well, I do see him on my shoulders. I was doing a television interview the day after the funeral, which was such a beautiful funeral. The sun shone and so much of him was there. 
the, the, the regimental, the, all the uniforms. His... It was the way he wanted it to be, wasn't it? It was exactly yeah. how he wanted it to be. It was, it was profoundly moving. But on the day after, I was doing a television thing and the line went down twice. Right. And I thought, this is him speaking. <laughs> Shut up, man. We have now heard enough. That's enough for you. Yes. <laughs> Move but, on. but the reason I think it went so well on Saturday was it was an extraordinary long life. And yet, everything about him was there. There were hymns that represented his Russian and German part of his life. There was, there was his carriage from his... and the ponies. Yeah. With his gloves and his cap mm. and that little bottle that contained the sugar lumps that he yes. would give the ponies. And there were the soldiers in uniform. And he said to me once, uniforms are important. He had more uniforms than anybody you can imagine. And I said, you like dressing up in them? He said, you know, I like dressing up in them. I have to dress up in them. And he then said to me, be serious for a moment. And he could be, he could be very funny mm. and then very serious. He said, the uniform does two things. It reminds you you're part of a team and the team that you are part of. And it reminds you that the people who salute you are saluting the uniform yes. and not you. And that was his, he always is insistent on that. It's, he knew that by marrying the queen, he had all these opportunities to do things, but it wasn't about him. It was about the work he did. Yeah. They had an amazing marriage, but she did do something, the Queen, Her Majesty, that irritated him a little bit. Well, she did... Well, the only time he ever complained about the Queen, and he, he, he knew that his whole life was supporting the Queen, he never put a foot wrong. You know, he always turned up, right day, right uniform, on time, one step behind her. But he did find, he said to me, oh, God, she's never off the phone. Ah. Never off the phone. What? Who is she talking to? But she's what got queening to do. She's been the queen. Well, I she think, has stuff to do. I think she was probably, and this, in a sense, is the hope for the future. She was probably on the phone in the evening. She telephones her racing manager to talk about the horses. Right. And in the afternoon, she takes her dogs for a walk. And the truth is, the queen, driven by duty, and her work is important to her. Since he died, Queen Victoria went, had a kind of sort of breakdown. She did. And, and was locked away, the widow of Windsor for 40 years, always wearing black. The Queen has let us know through the court circular that since the death of Prince Philip, she's done two or three official engagements. She's taken calls from several Commonwealth Prime Ministers. She goes on with her work. She has her faith and she has her animals and they are everything to her. They are her passion mm. in her life, her horses and her dogs. And she has her family. And she, we had a lot of talk about them supporting her. She will supporting, be supporting them, true. you know. That's she is true. a mother. Mm. And she will be hugging them when it's, when it's allowed. When it's, She'll it's, be hugging them. But she won't be until it is allowed. She's quite extraordinary. She is an amazing, amazing woman. And this is a, a brilliant book, Giles. Thank you for this. Because, you know, anybody that wants to find out more, and I know there's been a lot, you know, since, since he died, we found out a lot more. But there's things in here that you will not know. And Philip, the final portrait is out on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to see you. Oh, it's lovely to see you. 40 we, years, I think. We've been friends been. for 40 years. <laughs> I've known you I almost didn't. as long as I've known the Duke. Lorraine. No, nobody wants oh, to know that. <laughs> the intimate portrait. No, they don't. They by really one don't. who was there at the beginning. <laughs> I, think we'll, I think we might save that for when I'm no longer here. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.